Hello boys and girls, uh, nice that you are watching to video 3 of chapter 6, which is about the sine stimulus and a supernormal stimulus. Let's start with an example. Here you see two fish. These fish are three-spined sticklebacks. Um, they are quite common in the Netherlands uh, in freshwater rivers and ponds. Here you see two males. You can see that they are males because of the red belly. The left male shows an aggressive uh, reaction. So the left male is probably a male that is defending his territory. The right male depicts an intruder. So the reaction of the left male is an aggressive one to the fact that the right male comes in. Question is, what is it that makes this left male reacting so aggressively? Well, there was a Dutch scientist called Nico Timberger who studied this. And he thought of the hypothesis that the red belly in males triggers an aggressive reaction in other males. In order to study this, he came up with an experiment. He thought, well, if the red belly triggers an aggressive response, the actual color and shape of the fish doesn't really matter. So what he did was he took several males with a red belly and a bluish white back and he strongly simplified these characteristics into a model and he made models which had, didn't look like fish at all but they were oval shaped with a white top and a red belly and when he put these models in an aquarium where three spined sticklebacks were swimming the models triggered an attack confirming his hypothesis that the red um, belly triggered the aggressive attack. This led to the term sign stimulus. A stimulus that always has the same response is called a sign stimulus. In the case of the tree spine sticklebacks, it's the red belly. Here you see another example. In seagulls, the um, adult birds have a yellow beak with a red dot on it. Now, when the chicks of the seagulls see this red dot, they start pecking it in order to get food. Um, the adult birds will give them food when they peck the beak. But if you exaggerate this sign stimulus, the red dot on the beak, it leads to a faster or a stronger response. In an experiment with uh, seagull chicks, the researchers showed the chicks an accurate model, so which actually looked like a seagull, with a yellow beak and a red dot on it. And they also showed a pencil, a red pencil, which didn't look like the seagull at all, but with some white and red stripes on it. That is what we call an exaggerated stimulus in this case. So this pencil exaggerates, so makes it bigger, uh, the red dot here. Here you can see the reactions. If the researchers showed a natural hat and they moved it a little bit from side to side, um, here you can see how many times the chicks uh, that was studied packed the bill or the beak. When they used a standard model this was about the same. When this researchers showed a bill only so not the uh, complete head it got the same response. But if they showed an exaggerated sign stimulus with a stick and some red and white bands around it the response was way stronger. So the sign stimulus was exaggerated and the response was faster or stronger. 
So summarize, this is it. A sign stimulus is a stimulus that always leads to the same response. A supernormal stimulus is a strongly exaggerated sign stimulus. And a supernormal stimulus will trigger a response way stronger than normal. Thank you for watching.